Hi everyone, my name is Jeremy with Innovative Energy Solutions. Today we're going to demonstrate how to take your existing 4 foot fluorescent light that runs off a of ballast and convert it to an LED tube light. A uh, few differences in an LED tube light versus a 4 foot fluorescent light. What I've got here is a 4 foot fluorescent light like you would have normally mounted to your ceiling. What I've got here is we're going to lay it down on the table so I can show you up close how to rewire it. few differences though, when you receive your tube light, it will come in a box. Simply open up the box, remove the end cap, and pull out your tube light. And every set of lights comes, an, uh, it comes with an instruction manual. Within this instruction manual, it has instructions for everything that I'm showing you how to do. It also comes with a sticker. This sticker says that it's now wired for an LED and that we're bypassing your ballast. So we'll use this in a little bit. To rewire it, it's very simple. All we're going to do is bypass the ballast. So when you have your shop light, of course this is on the table and normally it'll be up in the ceiling, but simply squeeze your shroud and remove your shroud. By doing this, we're exposing your ballast. On this ballast particularly, this is an electronic ballast. Whether you have an electronic ballast or a regular ballast, it's still the same. All we're going to do is bypass it. We don't need a ballast because an LED has an internal driver. This light here is going to last generations, whereas a ballast is the first thing that goes out in a four-foot fluorescent light. To bypass the ballast, it's pretty simple. We have our wires that come in. These are our hot and neutral wires. We have uh, wires that go out to each side of the tombstones. The tombstones are the clips on the end where your light goes into. Simply pull or twist your tube lights like you normally do to take them out. So once you remove your tube lights, you're exposing the tombstones. There's no modification necessary there. We still have a double pin. The orange clip that you see is actually an on-off switch. So when you turn, you put this into your socket and you turn it, what you're actually doing is turning the switch on. By the, the light remaining on, you can now control it on and off with your light bulb. So, once you remove the shroud, go ahead and make sure either you disconnect the power by shutting off your breaker or making sure the light switch is off and nobody's going to turn it off. If you're not handy with electrical or after watching this video, if you don't feel comfortable with bypassing your ballast, it's safe to bet that you should hire an electrician. But it is very simple to do. The wires going from one side of your tombstones goes to your ballast. The wires going from the other side of tombstones again goes to your ballast. What we're going to do is we're going to cut them, leaving several inches left. Because if we ever want to use your fluorescent lights again, you'll need your ballast. By leaving several inches, this allows you enough wire to reuse it again, just simply by wire nutting them together. So we're going to cut the other side about four inches of wire left over again too. You can either disconnect your ballast altogether, like I'm going to do here. Do that by simply removing your ballast. Once you remove your ballast, you're, it's, it's wired to your electrical coming in from the house. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut that. The ground will stay grounded to the, the actual fixture itself, so that will remain the same. This wire here, and it doesn't matter if you get it mixed up or not, one side of the wires will go to hot, and the other side of the wires will go to neutral. It doesn't matter again. This could go to neutral, this could go to hot, or vice versa. So what we've got here is your wire coming down from your house. We've removed the ballast. What we're going to do now is expose a little bit more wire here. By exposing enough wire, now we can strip these down to about a half an inch. Once we've stripped them down to about a half an inch, we want to make sure the ground stays grounded to the fixture itself.
then again, one side of the wires goes to hot, the other side goes to neutral or vice versa. So what we'll do here, so we'll cut ourselves plenty of excess wire here. We'll strip that down to about a half an inch. And we're going to wire them together using some wire nets. Anytime you wire a stranded wire to a solid, it's a good idea to leave your stranded wire about an eighth of an inch to a quarter inches above your solid and just wire net them together like so. Code in most states requires about one and a half inches of pigtail as I twist this wire. You'll see it twisting around itself. Once we get about an inch and a half of pigtail, we know our wire is solid. Give it a little tug, make sure it's in there, and we'll do the same to the other side. If you look closely in here, you're going to see that this, this tombstone is not wired to this one. There's two wires coming off of each tombstone. So if there was a jumper where one wire went to the other one, we could only use, we only need to use one of these. But since each one is wired separately, we'll use both of these. Strip them again down to about a half an inch. Remember to leave your stranded wire a little bit above your solids. Grab yourself another wire nut and start twisting. Remember, give yourself that one and a half inches of pigtail. Know you've got it firmly tight and it won't be pulled out. Give it a tug, make sure everything's solid. Once you've got it wired like that, all you have done is bypass the ballast. We are directly running hot. Wire goes to one side of the tombstones and the neutral wire goes to the other. We've just bypassed the ballast. It's actually easier to do when it's up on your ceiling, but for filming we brought it down here. Once you've brought it down, you've done that part, go ahead and put on your trap. Squeeze that back in. A lot of times they'll come with a little set screw. I'm not going to put them in for demonstration purposes. Now that that's done, we can put in our tube lights. Remember, we're bypassed the ballast because this has an internal driver. So when we put these in, again, the same tombstones that hold, held your other T8 or T12 now holds this. Once I've got it in, click it into place. Once we click that into place, you'll hear that snap in. You also just activated or turned on your LED bulb. I'll go ahead and grab one more. Take off the end caps, slide them into your tombstones like you normally would, and twist them into place. Last but not least, you're going to want to place the sticker that says this has been rewired for an LED that you can no longer use fluorescent lights in there. If you ever want to switch back to your ballast, simply put this back into place, wire nut up your blues to your blues and your reds to your reds or whatever color you disconnected. You're going to want to place your sticker on top of your shroud. We're not going to do that right now, but you can just place the sticker back in your shroud. I'll plug this in. Normally you could just turn on your light switch and you'll have light. You can just turn it on the lights for now. And we've now got it your LED tube light. If you fail to remove the ballast and you put in the LED light and you have not removed the ballast, your LED lights will flicker. That's because you have your driver with your ballast, so make sure you bypass that ballast. Very simple, very easy to do. Go ahead and put on your shroud back then and you've got a life, uh, lifetime guaranteed bulb that lasts generations after generations. If you have any questions, um, then you've purchased the bulb through us, go ahead and give me a call if you have any questions. Further, my number is 209-277-8470, and I'm happy to walk you through any obstacle that you might incur um, or any questions. If you have four lights, the philosophy is still the same. Every wire coming from this side goes to either hot or neutral. The wires coming from this side goes to the opposite. Um, hopefully this helped, and good luck.